Olympic weightlifting. The search for gold. The thrill of victory. And the agony of defeat. Three attempts. Two events. One champion. The snatch. And the clean and jerk. The weightlifter who can lift overhead the most weight. Twins the gold. Lifting weights at least two times your body weight. Tis a measure of strength, stability, and stamina. Man versus steel. Metal versus metal. But can technology provide an edge in weightlifting? Which technology, and how? If you are new to this channel, lift your knowledge about technology higher by clicking the subscribe button for free. Posture, technique and preventing injury are key areas where technology can help. In South Korea, the Korean Institute of Sports Science has started the biomechanical platforms for weightlifting in the 80s. This technology employs a force platform, retro-reflective markers, infrared sensors, and motion sensing cameras to provide crucial data for both athletes and coaches. It can measure time and force spent, posture, and asymmetry during the lift execution. It studies loads on the muscles, joints, and bones and the trajectory of the barbell versus the center of gravity in real time, and over big data of lifting performances. This technology actively helps in preventing injuries and improve peak performance. One such athlete was Jang Miran of South Korea. She won gold in 2008 Beijing Olympics. Another technology created for lifting heavy weights is the exoskeleton. This particular exoskeleton for example enables one to lift an extra 7 kilograms per arm. Not so impressive, huh? Well, in a bizarre pound-for-pound -pound contest between a 7 volts humanoid weightlifting robot and an Olympian weightlifter, the robot lost in dramatic fashion. For now, exoskeletons are mostly limited to construction and industrial use. Unless perhaps, exoskeletons which can lift 20 times stronger than humans be allowed to join a Super Olympics, we don't foresee an Olympian competing against an augmented sports technology like the exoskeleton. Chinese athletes dominate weightlifting in Olympic records and medals. With more wherewithal for training, sports science, and technology, Chinese athletes seem to almost always be destined for greatness. Once in a while though, we see in awe how the human spirit triumphs over adversity. In the Tokyo 2020 Olympics, Filipina Hidalin Diaz lifted a total of 224 kilograms to win the gold. Hidalin Diaz's victory brought its first ever Olympic gold to the Philippines, a third world country in Asia. After almost a century since the Olympics started in 1924. And in doing so, Diaz also broke two Olympic records in the 55kg weightlifting category. Isolated deep in the hinterlands of Malaysia for more than a year, away from home and family for almost two years, begged for financial support during the preparation and training for long hours every day on a less than ideal makeshift gym on the backyard, Hidalin Diaz defied the odds. With less to no technology, less government support, less training resources, how was the Filipina able to beat powerhouse China at the highest level? For the moment, the answers lie beyond technology. For now, sports nutrition, psychology, and coaching seem to have more bearing than what technology offer for weightlifting. It should be noted that Hidalin Diaz was injured in 2014. We can't help but pose a question. Had the Oz benefited from the biomechanical platform technology, could she have avoided the injury and win more Olympic golds early on? Perhaps in the next few Olympics, we would have a definite answer. 
Hidalin Diaz attributed her victory through her years of training, her Team HD composed of nutritionist, psychologist, strength and conditioning coach, and elite head coach from China. For the first Philippine Olympic gold medalist, Diaz's belief in her abilities and in God, lifted the nation to fame and honor, on the back of millions of prayer warriors who supported her. In that golden lift, Diaz with singular focus, gave it all, and the rest is history, her story. In the meantime, mind wins over electronic matter. Nerves of steel has won over a stack of steel. In the end, metal triumphs over metal.